bounds bounds Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is DJ Andy of Direct Disco Services. Now today I'm just going to do a quick video of beat matching on Virtual DJ 7. Now I don't use Virtual DJ 8, I prefer Virtual DJ 7 to be honest. Um, I've never re really used Serato either so I just prefer this one. This is the one I started with. Uh, I have gone through the various different Virtual DJ versions and, and i basically stopped at number seven um, I did look at virtual DJ 8 but I didn't really like it so uh, I've stuck with what I know for now and uh, until I get used to the virtual DJ 8 anyway today what I'm going to do is show you quickly how to do a synchronized beat match using the software that is available with virtual DJ 8 now if you want to use a controller with virtual DJ 8 you can do um, but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use the uh, laptop screen Anyway, beats per minute is usually what you would be counting in music when you're listening it through your headphones. Now today I haven't got the headphones with me, um, this will basically help you without the headphones. I would recommend using headphones if you are going to do something like this because it does help on the night with your um, drop points of putting a track in when you need to do. But this way of doing it is... is probably simpler and it's a little bit of a cheap cheat and it will help you practice your your beat matching a little bit better anyway if you were to look at the screen down where the search bar is here I have a couple of tracks already lined up one's called Bills by Lunch Money Lewis and the other one's All of Me which is the remix version by John Legend on the right hand side under BPM you will see a number 128 and for lunch money Lewis it's 126 this is the beats per minute so basically that means 128 beats per minute so that gives you an idea of how many beats are in, in the actual recording now if you was in a band you would have a drummer beat in the beat out so that's what it means by beat so a drummer helps keep things in time and keeps the tempo going so when they've recorded a track that's what the beats per minute is so in order to count them you either have to put the headphones on and count them one two three four one two three four like that or you could just do this so if i set john Legend going just turn the music down a little bit there as you can see that is represented in the top of virtual dj7 by a blue wavy line underneath the blue wavy line is a series of dots so I'm going to press pause again underneath that wave line like I said is the dots so you can see one is larger than the other three so this means is the first beat so that'll be one two three four and then it starts again with the large dot so there you go there's the four beats that you need to be counting so if I press play again you can see them crossing this middle section bar where my mouse pointer is, right in the center at top there. So you can actually count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. <laughs> Takes a bit of getting used to watching the dots. It'll send your eyes a little bit funny if you do that all night. So if you wanted to get deck B now lined up at that at that um, speed what you would do is press play on both of them deck A, deck B so at the moment deck B is running slightly slower it's not much, it probably won't make no, much difference on, on the night but for the purpose of this video and to show you how to sync these up you just press the sync, this sync button to the right of the play button on Virtual DJ. Now other applications, other software and the controller you might be using may have a button that says something different but it will do the same job. You just need to find it and have a play around with it and then it will, it will do what I'm about to show you. So if I press sync now 
the track won't sink into oblivion it will just line the dots up and it, if you've looked at just looked at the screen now them dots are now lined up so that the large dot is now in sync with the, the large blue dot so the blue and the red dots are now all lined up for the music so that is in sync now so if I was to cross fade across now that's actually running at the same speed as the one in deck A and vice versa if you actually listen to them both together although the, the words and everything are out of the thing and if you just listen to the beats you can hear the beats are hitting it at the same time so the beats are now lined up now say if you want to get that back to its original beats per minute all you need to do is click on the zero thing you've got the spinny disc here on the on the deck B and you've got the pitch control there at the right hand side and then you've got this zero thing so if you click that you can see the pitch fader has now started moving very slowly and that will go back to its original beats per minute so I hope that helps a few people out there on how to use Virtual DJ or any software that you happen to be using this really um, you don't require headphones to do that you can do that with your speakers uh, if you haven't got a, uh, the, the software controller like a new Mark Mix Track Pro something like that or a tractor uh, you can just practice yourself at home with your uh, computer and just have a play around with it but it is a good way of getting them, them beats to match up uh, it's a good idea to find the drop point in the record where you want it to go as well uh, before you cross fade it over because it's a good idea to get that, that right point of that the track to get in there but you would need your headphones for that and it like I said it does need a bit of practice so I hope you enjoyed that video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will check in with you guys on another video later thanks for watching Bounds.